Hello and welcome to World of Tanks. As you can see, this video is called Panther, Quest for the Ace Mastery. Um, it took me a long time to get the Ace Medal in this tank, but I actually didn't expect it to. This is, I want to say, the second game I played in my Panther, so it's from patch 9.0, and, well if you know the Panther, you'll know that this tank looks pretty stock. It's got a stock turret, it's got a short gun, so it's not going to be great. But based on what happens in this game, I kind of thought getting an ace medal would be pretty easy. So you can see it's Sand River, and it's an assault map, and we are the assaulting team. So I kind of push up onto the central ridge, figuring that's going to be a good sniping position. Spot a light tank, but no one else there yet. Just relocate slightly, see if I can't get a shot off. And I do, but it misses completely. Artillery takes a shot at me, and that was a poor shot at artillery. But I'm getting hit from... I don't know, the other ridge over there, the one that the enemy usually holds. So go hide behind the rocks. Just chill out for a bit, because I figure I'm probably out of their view range, so... They're probably not spotting me now, but... Get a little bit more time, then just see if I can't move up to put some shots at the enemy. And that was probably this AMX that was shooting me before. I don't get any shots because my team kills it so quick. Oh, hello, enemy tanks. Kind of wasn't paying attention to what was in front of me, and I ended up spotting a third of the enemy team. Which I suppose is a good thing when you're. You know, good bonus from being distracted, especially since none of them shot at me. So let's see if we can get some shots here. Mm, I'm a bit dubious about this, just pushing up, because of the poor gun depression, we have to push right up behind the ridge. So I'm going to relocate over here where I feel there's a little bit more cover. Mm. Oh, I have a shot in that tank destroyer. Yeah, it bounced. Okay, an IS. Okay, I'm shooting at... You know, the rear top of this tank, it's kind of the thinnest armour there. I mean, sure, it's a heavy tank, a very powerful heavy tank at that. Well, I got one shot in. Which I believe is my first damage I've done this game. But like I say, this is kind of the stop gun, so you can't really expect too much from it. And that is a Carnarvon. A very strong heavy tank, but I've got its rear. And... Well, that's not having a good day. I mean, these shots aren't actually doing a lot of damage, but I'm firing so many of them that it's adding up pretty quick. Especially when I set it on fire. Oh, my first kill, and that was a fair bit of damage on this the tier 8 tank. Can I oven? I don't know. Like there's Church 1, Church 7, Black Prince, so you can't have this tier, like, tier 8. I don't know. This is a forgetting one, but whatever. Oh, I thought I was going to get shots on the AMX there. But let's see if we can't hit this T30. Oh no. You have to push up a little bit more to get shots on people here. But luckily no one's looking at me, so I think I can. Oh, no, someone was looking at me, though. One, EC-152. So that was painful, it damaged my ammo rack, so actually kind of lucky I didn't blow up. Well, we can repair the ammo rack, and... I think about just poking over again to put another shot into T-30, but... I know that's kind of stupid, I just got shot by a um, IC-152. So 
I'm gonna go up here where hopefully the rocks will protect me from the SU-152. I've got bushes to actually probably should be spotted here. Nope, didn't get a chance. Well, I had a chance, but I missed my shot. There you are. SU-152, don't have a decent shot there. But what's this, T-43? Got one shot in. Missed, I'm just going to try and shoot through the building now. Uh, that didn't work out. Oh, he's aiming at me. Uh, take one more shot and then I should pull back. Well, I was exposing a lot more of my side than I thought. But, uh, yeah, we killed that tank eventually. Well, not we, as in me, but we as in my team. Oh, and there's another one. Just ISU-152, just chilling out down there. Well, I can go down and get it. Oops, that was a terrible shot. And, um, well, I'm stuck, but it's a decent place to get stuck in. Another kill, and, um, should be able to get out. No. Um, reverse. Nope, I am well and truly stuck. Let's just sit here and pretend like this is just what we do. This wasn't the cock up at all, it's just how I like to end battles. See, so yeah, that was an alright game. Um, second class mastery, I got third in my team. So it's alright, but I go, well, if that was second class mastery, it must be pretty easy to get up to first class or ace tanker. And then. Well, about a week later, I had this game. It's on my, it's on my, it's in my Panther again, but this time it's no longer stock. I think it's probably actually fully upgraded now, and it's a another assault one. This time we're defending on Sand River. So kind of the opposite of what the last game was. And I figure since the Panther is such a great sniper, I am just going to kind of pull up in the centre. Oh, that was a terrible shot. I I'm taking that. Well, I know why I took it. It's because this was back at my old house where I had very high ping and whatever. So I would have pulled the trigger when I was on flat ground before I went up that hill, but five goes over the hill and my shot went way high. They saw their artillery having this, which is a nice start to the game. So I'm sitting up on this ridge here and I think I'll be able to get shots people eventually just got to get into a decent location. I'm not really able to shoot that light tank, but that one I can. Penetration. Um, for some reason in all the remaining replays I couldn't get them to say the tank names on the over target markers. I have no idea why I went through settings tons and tons and tons, and it just wouldn't change. So you're going to have to see the player names rather than the tank names, which would be more useful. Uh, so here are some enemies trying to push around the corner. I can just kind of go park up on top of this ridge and get shots down them, and I think I'm far enough away that they can't actually spot me from there. That's a KV-3. That was a good shot. I pulled back because I assume people on that central ridge where I was last game were shooting me, but they haven't yet. It looks like they're all staying well back. I'll take a blind shot at KV, but you can see it missed there. Hit the dirt. No, I will also hit the dirt, but... I don't know, they're worth taking, and the Panther actually has a lot of ammunition. So that KV-3 is back. I don't quite have shots, but here's someone I can shoot at. Sad day for you, Mr. Churchill. Enemy vehicle destroyed. And an AMX. Well, that was a clear If it had moved a split second earlier, it would have got away. 
Got two kills, quick succession. We're doing alright here, the score is 4-4. Four, four. But we're actually managing to hold our defensive line. And the enemy haven't really been able to push up into any advantageous positions. KB3, just gotta wait for my gun to stabilize. Well, apparently it didn't go through, but we didn't get to see it not go through. Took the blind shots. Probably missed. Judging by how far back that guy was. Isn't that KV3 is all by himself, so it might come around again if it's stupid. Huh. What do you know? Bounce to be. I don't think I've a chance, but. I don't know. Plenty of ammunition. Again, aim for kind of the engine deck. Okay, yeah, like get a penetration. Let's try it again. Oh, two of them are on. See on the eastern flank, that looks like they're under a bit of pressure now. But it's out of my render range, so I can't help directly. Just focus on keeping this KV-3 pinned down, for now. Although we really should stop dealing with this guy. Because there are lots of enemies pushing up on the east. So I loop around to the base of this ridge line here, thinking that I could maybe get some shots on from a different angle. I've gone down too far, so I can't quite shoot up over the ridge. Now I have a shot, the side of the turret. And that might have hit, but whether it did any damage or not is another question. And now we can see the enemy pushing up on the east. There's another kill there. Looks like the KV-3 has learnt its lesson. It's probably not going to come around anymore. So I think it's time to go help out in the east. Because well at the moment there's only a single heavy tank there holding them all back. Actually there are no heavy tanks, there's nothing there holding them back. Almost had shots on that guy. And that was a bit low. So yeah, Churchill. Well, that's not Churchill. It's like a T29. Or something, but I well, we can put shots into it anyway. And the engine again. And of course, it starts rolling for as soon as I shoot. And the bounce. Okay, we are now losing. They are coming around this flank. And it looks like the KV-3 is pushing up the other side, and it's basically me and a tank destroyer to hold the wall back. Mm -hmm. Miss there. Hopefully that one doesn't. Miss again. Stop. I aim, and I get a shot in. Artillery takes a shot at the enemy and misses. Looks like this guy's gonna come around and try and get behind me. But I get lucky. Oh, I get lucky. Spots the artillery and just ignores me. So I get to put some good shots into its back. I don't quite manage the kill shot, but put a lot of damage in. So I go chase it down because I'm not keen on poke over this ridge to try and fight a heavy tank. And 
And we get the kill. Gotcha. So our team's down to four tanks. We are fighting seven enemy tanks. The one thing we've got going for us is that there isn't long left on the clock. We didn't even scratch them. And here's our old T29 friend. I kind of get lucky there in that T29 tracks me, so I stop, so it misses the ram. And I'm now on behind it. Well, beside it now, but I've still put shots in. I managed to track it, which is good because the Panther's not particularly good at certain things. And I'm going to get saved there from taking a lot more damage. I managed to bounce a shot, but well, that's a Sherman, so it's two tiers below me, so I will bounce shots from the Sherman. But I'm kind of looking there, I'm thinking, put a reverse, just got to keep moving for now to avoid artillery because then he's actually only got two tanks left and of course the Sherman's popping over to try and spot me for artillery so I figure it's my job to just charge in and see what I can do to this guy I figure he's probably not spotting me now so I loop around behind but uh, it's not here at least not, oh there it is, in the cap and of course I miss. Not sure, I'll do another kill. I'll slow you in the go, but... Oh, we won! We won through time. As you can see, second best on my team. But only second last mastery. Which I thought was odd, because I thought I was totally carrying my team in that game. And, you know, I got, what, 1200 experience? You know, base experience? That's pretty impressive. I think so, at least. It's only worth second class, but whatever. So this game's on hills, as you can see. It's about two weeks later. And at this point, the best I've ever done was a second class mastery. Spot a light tank and managed to put a good sneaky little shot there into the cupola. So yeah, second class mastery is the best I've ever gotten up to this point, and I started to think, well, you know, maybe I'm just destined to suck at the panther. In this game, I wouldn't actually recommend coming over here on the encounter map, because this position holds like no strategic significance. But for some reason this game I just felt like, you know, I started over here, I couldn't keep really bothered driving all the way up to the hill. So I just figured I'd go straight up here. And oddly enough, a lot of enemy tanks also came up here. I missed the shot on the, shi on the side of the Jumbo's turret. And then of course I bounce off the front of it, because it is a Schumann Jumbo. Well no, the Schumann Jumbo with the upgrade turret has actually got wind for armor, but... I expect most Jumbo drivers don't use them. I aim for the side of the turret and it bounces, because it hit the mantlet. Yeah, I get one through the side, and the jumbo's just bouncing off my mantlet. Put another shot into the controller. I managed to shoot a friendly E25. Like I say, my ping was a bit high then, so sometimes that would happen. So I move up, and I see a 3001 ping and a 3385. Oh, and hey, we can actually see the tank names, not the person names. That's handy. So I aimed on my arm a bit better. And I got a shot in the ammo rack again. Once again, first in this game, but I got shot there last game. What was the game before? What was the game before? Putting some pretty effective shots into these guys. Whereas they're just bouncing off my frontal armor. But that 3001 is in a very held down position. It's actually got a really good position there. And its arm is kind of blocking me from shooting the T385. So I had a few bounces here, but put in some sneaky shots on the very side of its turret there. The 3001's P's turret. But, um, clearly this guy's got better shots at me than I have at them. It. Whatever. So I pull back. I saw that T-3485, looks like it's going around trying to flank. 
so I'm figured that's something I can go deal with. Oops, drove into the rock. And there it is. It's not looking at me. So I can do a shot on it. And don't quite get the second one there. But again, it's just ignoring me. Oh well I didn't get killed, but I did a fair bit of damage to that one. So now I figure it's time to go around and finally deal with that Sherman Jumbo that's been, you know, directly in front of me for the whole game. Now that those, well, the 3001P's gone, I can easily sneak up around behind it, and hopefully there isn't anyone else up here that can shoot me in the side right now. But there doesn't seem to be. And that shot missed, and then I get a nice shot straight into the front of the hull. Which, thanks to this penetration of this gun, at that range is actually pretty certain to penetrate, I reckon. So now we're moving up to put pressure on the enemies on the hill, or any that are down around in this enemy town. Which there's usually a couple sitting up on the hill, but they haven't shot at me yet, so I probably... I don't think there are any. At least at this point I didn't think there were, because, um, well, they weren't shooting at me. Then we see a Panzer IV S. There's plenty, plenty of fences and whatnot between me. Get an awesome bounce there from that IS-6. But... I feel that pretty hand good. This is Panther Forest again. I managed to bounce it like I hit the frontal turret there. Get a good penetration. That shot missed. And I go and shoot out the fence, thinking it would help me, but it um, turns out that was completely and utterly unnecessary. Putting shots into its rear. And hey, that was the last enemy tank. So I'm thinking that was a pretty average game, but that was actually my first class mastery. Now if you were paying attention, I actually got less base experience in that game than the one previously. Which kind of tells me that because the mastery badges are done on a week by week basis, this week, or the week before I did that game, it's actually, uh, people don't do that well in the Panther. So then of course, I'm thinking, well this is my chance to finally start getting some of these Ace Masteries or First Class Masteries. And then this game happens two days later. It is Assault. This time I'm defending. I don't know why I do well in Assault games in my Panther. But I do. So I sit back here, decide I'm going to cover the south side of the town. Our friendly scout just drove out into the centre of the field and is a bit surprised that it was killed immediately by like the entire team. And they'll be talking about that in chat for the next little bit. Oh, I've got shots here. And I believe that was, I was going to say it was a tiger, but we're start reversing it looked like an eye or something. Got one good shot in, but no other targets shoot at him at the moment, but I know they're out there. So I'm just going to stay here and chill out for a bit. Where are you guys? I know you're out there somewhere. Mm, looks like the enemy's pushing pretty hard in the centre of the town, but we've got a lot of heavies over there to deal with them. Then we've lost our other scout, or another scout. Okay, here's some targets. Don't have shots here, I've been spotted. I wonder who spotted me. Missed that shot, but a terrible shot. Well, that was a good one, so side of the turret there. Uh, oh, it's moving, I think I've taken another shot. Uh, it looks like it's now behind cover, so let's go after this light tank. 
don't quite... Oh, that's not a light tank at all, that's a tank destroyer. I don't know why I said light tank. But we didn't have shots in it, so we didn't shoot it. It looks like the enemy's starting to push around the north of the city. But I can keep defending the south. It's a tiger, which is a good storage button. And that one is a bit low and hit the dirt. And I've been spotted. Who spotted me? Probably those guys pushing up behind me. Pretty easy kill there, considering the guy wasn't shooting back. Focus back on this target. Two kills. Oh, and that tank destroyer took a shot at me, but well, obviously it wasn't a very good shot since it missed. So I'm just angling my armor since it's pretty obvious I'm going to have to fight to the north now. Or well, angle my armor, just get it facing the right direction. And oh, I don't reckon this tank destroyer is going to be foolish enough to just charge around the corner, but that KV-1 yes is. Now the tank destroyer pushes around as well. To kill the tank destroyer. Put shots into the KV-1 yes. And this is the old KV-1 yes, by the way. And I'm just. Well, it's ignoring me, and I'm quite happy just putting shot after shot into its side. But my friendly T25 AT managed to get the kill. Push around, see a KV-2. Get the kill on that one. So that's four kills. There's another KV-1S pushing up to the south. Yeah, I can put flanking shots in. I miss because it stops. What's that, five kills? I was just moving back and forwards a bit there to hopefully dodge any artillery shells. And this time it's three on three, and I'm thinking I've got full health, so I should go charging up to where I last saw the Jag Panther and try and kill that before it can link up with its teammates and, you know, push while we're outnumbered. Now I've definitely got the hit points to do this. Pretty sure it was up on the hill, but I was wrong. It's a good shot into me. I penetrate and I ram it and manage to take its tracks off. It gets a second shot into me before I can get around behind it. And then artillery lands a big shot on me, which as you see almost killed me, damaged my ammo rack, took out my tracks. And I've just gone from full health to being almost dead in the space of 10 seconds or so. But at least we killed the Egg Panther. And of course, enemy heavy tank here, it's some full health. So I'm just going to pull up here and see if I can't get some sniping fire in. Of course that shell goes nowhere near where I aimed it. I was spotted, so I pulled back, just in case artillery was aiming at me. Take a shot. But I managed to hit my friendly T25 AT in the back. So that's kind of poor shooting, but I drive around a bit more, so it's out of the way. Artillery lands a shell near me, but misses. Got to move forward to try and get a decent shot on this T29. But it moves. So I figure I'll just hide out at this wreck because, of course, it's got to come around to kill us in this game. It's a assault defense. We don't have to go to it. And it's basically the last hope for the enemy team. And. Oops, it's nose out. Thinks it's safe. Going for the lower plate. And they should get the kill there. So, right now, got tons of kills. Tons. And it's me and this T25, the enemy's only got a GW Panther left. And I'm thinking, well, we've got to go hunt it down. We don't have to, but we should, because we'll get the game over quicker. 
And my team are telling me that it's down the bottom of the map. So I say affirmative. I look that way, think should I go straight out on the field or turn that way? I go no. And then of course I see it's just to my north. I'm actually lucky I didn't kill myself ramming into that pillar in my surprise that my team were wrong. So what I'm thinking here is I know that the artillery has poor gun depression. It's on the top of the hill, so I figure if I'm at the bottom of the hill, it might actually have a hard time shooting down at me. I put one shot in, but it's not anywhere near enough to kill it. And um Fortunately my T25 AT friend actually takes it out because I wasn't keen on jumping out there to take more shots. And that was my Ace Mastery badge, also a top gun, but as you see, 1200. Well, more than 1200 base experience. That was a lot more than what I originally thought I would have to do to get my Ace Medal in this tank. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to like it if you did, or subscribe if you want to see more. Also, you can check out some of my other video series down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.